Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Karachi, Pakistan. And this morning we are at the fish market at 6 a.m. We're gonna buy some seafood and then the plan for the day is we are going to cook some seafood. Uh, we're gonna go to a beach house. It's gonna, we'll see what happens, but it's gonna be an amazing day. And we are starting at the fish market this morning. So this is the main fish market. Yeah. We're at the Karachi fishery. Ali, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Half sleeping. Half sleeping. <laughs> the market is already buzzing though and people like, I mean there are people transporting barrels and um, buckets and wheelbarrows full of fish. Um, and then the fish is just kind of laying out all over the the entire area of the market. Just mounds of fish and ice, fresh fish. <laughs> This man. man uh, Hello, how are you? Fine, fine. Type of tuna? Yeah. Still kind of dark, so we're waiting on better light, but in the meantime, we've stepped inside the fisherman's canteen. Um, this is just like a mess hall. Quite a lively environment in here, very cool. We're gonna stop here maybe to eat a little something, but definitely to have some tea. So they don't have any seafood at the fisherman's canteen, but mainly what people are eating are parata and drinking tea. So and a parata is like a fried bread. First they have the dough in like rounds, um, kind of like a cinnamon roll, like a swirl, and then they, they roll out the dough so it has kind of those layers onto the hot griddle in some oil, um, and that fries until it's just golden, and that's just like a, a simple, very common breakfast in Karachi. Always good, always good. I don't think this one is spiced with any cardamom, I think that's just straight tea. Uh, but yeah, check out this parata. It's hot, it's flaky, it's fried fresh. You can feel that golden crunchiness. Oh yeah, that is hot. And it's very good. Slightly greasy, but that you've got that contrast between the crunchy, crispy outside and the gooey interior. And you have to follow that with tea. The dipping method. So you dip it into your chai. Oh, I got the milk skin with that. Yeah, that is good. You still got that crunch because you just dip it fast. You flash dip it. But then it's absorbed a little bit of that tea, so it's juicy. Okay, step outside. Good morning. The sun has risen. The the commotion from the fish market, it's still buzzing. Just the piles of fish. Uh, people transporting fish from place to place. Okay. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. But that was a good breakfast, a great way to start the day, and one of the most common of all breakfasts eaten across Pakistan. Very good. Good, good, good. Actually, one of our friends is going to buy the seafood because we don't really know what we're doing buying the seafood. So he's gonna buy the seafood. Actually, I think he already came earlier this morning than us to buy the seafood. We're gonna take it back to the, the beach house and then that's where we're gonna cook. So we're not actually buying the seafood ourselves. We just came here to walk around and see all the fish and just enjoy the atmosphere. <laughs> The fish market this morning was great. Uh, we've now picked up Joel and Ying and Micah, and we are driving en route to... Uh, Fox Bay. Where are we going? Fox Bay. Fox Bay. Fox Bay. Fox, Fox Bay. Yeah. All right, that's where the beach house is. We're on our way to Fox Bay. Awesome. Oh, and by the way, Ali and I have switched places. Ali is gonna... Hi, this is Ali from Migrationology.com. We are live from, <laughs> from Fox Bay, Bay, Karachi. Yes. 
Mark has decided to stay back in Pakistan, so I'll have to do it onwards, guys. Get used to this face. <laughs> How are you? They're already preparing some of the food in the front. Uh, but this is a beautiful house right along the beach, um, along the San Hawks Bay. Oh man, that is bright Arabian and sea. beautiful. The Arabian Sea. Yeah, right. Yeah, just we're really not that far away from um, the the Gulf. We're from, from Dubai, UAE, from Oman. It's pretty close here. Boti. 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 They're cooking all the food in the front of the house. The beaches, or the beaches at the front. We're at the back of the house. That's what it is. Uh, but they're grilling up the chicken right now. There's kebabs. Um, they're also going to be grilling some pomfret fish um, and shrimp. And then over on this section, they have live crabs, which they are gonna they're gonna show us right now. <laughs> We have fresh mud crabs as well. I think those are mud crabs. Just walked in with a gunny sack of fresh crabs, uh, breaking those apart. That's going to be a crab curry. To be boiled dead crabs. Oh, okay. And to do and called crab lollipop. Crab lollipop. Yeah. And this one is prawns masala. Yeah. They're going to be making crab curry, uh, but at the moment he's making prawns curry. Crab. Crab kebabs. Crab, crab kebabs. kebabs? Yeah. Oh, nice. On the grill? <clears throat> uh, no, they're going to Or they'll be fried, fried also? They're fried. Yeah, fried. Wow. Okay, we are having the full Pakistani seafood feast. I am feeling extremely hungry after smelling these aromas coming out of the backyard. Crab lollipop. Yeah. I'm broken. The shell. Nice. And here's some meat. Thank you. And what is your name? Harun. Harun. Yeah. Harun, great man. Thank Very nice so to meet you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for cooking. Thank you. Are you from Are you from this area? From Hawks Bay? Yeah. Or from yeah. No, Karachi? no. I am from Kaimari uh, in Karachi. Okay. And uh, live in Kaimari. Ah, okay. Perfectly, so that the sauce all coats every little crevice of that crab. The dishes just keep on coming. Now he's frying fish, and at the same time, he's making crab cutlets. So there's potato, which he mashed down with some crab meat uh, that he's making into little patties, and I think those will fry as well. This is gonna be an all-out Pakistani seafood feast. Oh, they just keep coming up with more and more dishes or, or just letting me know about more and more dishes as they go along. Wow, but I think we are getting very close. They're starting to set up the table. Wow, was I not recording? So we're all sitting down to feast now with Sharuz and Alize. <laughs> Thank you so much there for, their, for, for them hosting us and for putting together, organizing this and for inviting us to their beach house and for the chefs for preparing all this food. We have like, there's at least 14 different dishes, the aromas, the spices, mostly it's seafood, but there's also some meat. So we have the best of the land and the sea. It's everything you could possibly want on a single table when you're in Pakistan. And are you supposed to eat it with the cutlet? You're the supposed to eat it with the, yeah. Okay, awesome. We're all gonna begin with the crab cutlets, which are freshly fried potato and crab in here, and we <laughs> added some of the chutney, which is tomato and uh, tamarind in the chutney. Oh, 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 oh wow, oh, it's so good. 
you taste that crab and then the, the potato is just like mashed up in there. Mm. And that chutney, you're right about that chutney. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable, good. thank you. Um, that chutney, it's Thanks. tomato and tamarind, so it has a tartness to it. And then at the same time, it has like, you can taste the spices and the cumin in there. It's just like melts in your mouth. The next dish that we have to try first um, is the crab lollipop, which are the claws, de-shelled, um, and then with that curry sauce all over it. This is beautiful, and so you just grab one of the claws. Yeah, that is just like way better than any sugar-filled lollipop you could ever have. It's so sweet, and it's, and it's just as sweet. And then just coated in that contrasting blend of spices, unbelievably good. You can taste all those spices, and yet they're all just like balanced to perfection, and you wanna just lick every yeah. crevice of that crab. Okay. Mm. Oh, with the tamarind. That like, just like brings out the flavor. And then behind it, there's this sweetness of yeah. the prawn itself. Put some of this onto the plate. Oh, and you can see whole cinnamon sticks. You can just see all those spices. You can see the chilies in there. You can just see that rich sauce. Crazy, crazy good. It's such a harmony of spices, and you can actually taste the, the tomatoes, I think, in there. It has that kind of tomatoey tartness. And then blended with all the spices, the little prawns. Now it's time to just like go head first and just dive into the food, dive into the seafood, and just go all out. A tamarind chutney? Yeah, this one. All right. Ali has said that the chicken is amazing too. Okay. Chicken tikka, well that's unbelievable. Like all of the moisture and juices have just been like absorbed and held up within the side of the chicken. Yeah, it's grilled perfectly. And then into the, the tamarind chutney again. Mm, you can taste the sour tamarind. It's tart, it has, it tastes like there's some mint and maybe coriander inside of it as well. Okay, next up for beef, bihari. You're just gonna be licking your fingers this entire meal. You love it. It's just dish after dish of just pure joy. And that fish has a real like buttery texture to it. That has been shallow fried so it has that crispy edge. You can taste all that salt, like crust, the, the spice crust on there. Another plate of crab curry. Lollipops. Lollipops. They refilled it. Nice. Thank you very much. There's nothing greater than a refilled plate of lollipops. Crab lollipops. Some more fresh lollipops. It just slides right out. Wow, look, even with that blend of spices and the curry coating it, the, sh the sweetness of the crab just like penetrates through that entire spice, but then both the spice and the sweetness of the crab complement each other. I'll pump right now. I'm gonna dip that tail into the tamarind chutney. Yeah, pomfret is one of my favorite fishes. Fish because of the texture and the juiciness. And then again, the fish is coated in spices before being grilled. And then with that tamarind chutney, that tamarind chutney is such a perfect like sourness and tartness. Kebab. Oh, yeah. oh. It just collapses in your mouth. Everything is spectacular, but I think the two best things are the lollipop crab drumstick curry, as well as that prawn karahi curry. That's just like unbelievably flavorful. I love how it's not oily. 
but it's just like pure spices. You taste that tomato mash, you taste the black pepper in there, the turmeric, the cumin, every now and then you chomp down on a cumin seed sauce. It's so enriching both to your mouth and to your life. This is a tomato chutney loaded with spices and also tamarind and then that chili. I'm gonna try to pile this all up onto, onto this bite of fish. I'm still enjoying it. Please sit down. Please sit down. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, come on. Mm. That chili just like burst with juice. Not too spicy but very fragrant. And then that chutney. Yeah, that chutney is award winning. Okay, another fresh mm -hmm. pomfret right, right off the grill. It's oh, hot. Oh, it's so juicy. I just can't stop. And partly, I can't stop because I'm in one of the most breathable, like expandable outfits. That's one of the best reasons, like as your stomach expands, you just feel, continue to feel great. There's no belt to loosen. Kind of windy out here, but we just finished with lunch. That was an incredibly delicious meal. One of the best Pakistani meals we've had on this entire trip. Um, and this is actually our final day in Pakistan. Tonight we fly out from Karachi back to Bangkok. So what a meal to end with. A massive thank you to Sharuz and Aliza for hosting us at their beach home. Uh, for all the chefs that prepared the meal, it was spectacular. Uh, from here, we're driving back to Karachi and well, I guess we're still kind of in Karachi here, but anyways, this is, what a beautiful place. What a spectacular seafood meal. Oh man, and that ocean breeze. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you also. That was an Thank amazing, so much. amazing cooking. Shukriya. 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 Very, very much. No, thank that you was... for reminding us that we live in a beautiful country. <laughs> and an amazing culture. Yeah. If you come food. again, awesome. let us know. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Thank you Always so much for, <laughs> for hosting us. Okay, bye, Ayan. My God. Thank nice you so having much, you. man. Okay, yes. good time. Just made it to the airport in Karachi. Today was the final day of our trip in Pakistan and it was an amazing day to end this entire, to wrap up this entire Pakistan food and travel series. And I have to say that the entire series, and I'll have the link in the description box where you can watch the entire series of every single day of this entire trip. It has been a trip of a lifetime. The people that we encountered uh, all the way from Lahore to Peshawar to the Hunza Valley and all of GB to Gil Gilgit Baltistan and then finally ending in Karachi we've met just countless people that have just been so kind and so generous and so showed us such a welcome to Pakistan. I want to say a massive thank you to Ali. He organized our entire trip from start to finish, starting with the visa. Our entire trip to Pakistan would not have even been possible without Ali. Uh, check him out. I'll have his Instagram in the description box, but he's an amazing guy. Um, and he, yeah. Thank you, Ali. Thank you very, very much. It was a trip of a lifetime. And so that's gonna be it. I wanna say a huge thank you to you for watching this video and watching this entire series. Again, I'll have a link in the description box so you can watch all the videos. If you haven't watched them all, go back and check the entire series out because there was so much food and so many amazing experiences that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. Our flight is about to leave in about 30 minutes. Uh, so I will see you on the next video. Thank you again to Pakistan for the amazing, amazing trip.